Jazz, the last time you challenged for this belt, you went close against Kid Galahad. Why is it going to be different this time when you meet Josh Well for the vacant British Super Bantamweight title? This, this time was um, a year and a half ago and the lessons are now know is probably because of that loss. So I'm looking forward to showing what I have learned over the last year and a half. And what lessons have been learnt in the last 18 months? Plenty, Steve. Um, more, than I can, more than I can say, more than every other fight put together. I've learnt lessons from this loss, so I'm looking forward to actually showing what I have learnt and enjoying myself on the night. I've um, done a lot, of, lot more tickets than I usually do. I've got a lot more support and tribulacy title in front of my own people. What, what do you make of Josh Well? Because he's gone close several times himself in big, t big fights, hasn't he? Um, I think he's a good, honest fighter, and I've seen him. I've seen enough of him, and I've got a game plan off all of Mick, and I'm looking to go in there and execute it on the night. What is the game plan? You'll see on the night. <laughs> you just become a dad for the first time. Your daughter Betty, so I, I dare say you haven't had much time to spend with her. No, I haven't seen her that much. I've seen her get um, a bit of time, but every night and when I come home from the gym, when I've got my day done, but I have to put my daughter off and my family off for this fight, I owe it to myself and I've trained really hard and I've sacrificed more than I've ever sacrificed. I've got great support at home, you know, um, great support in the gym, I've got a small circle around me, but great, great support. And um, Thank you to them people, I appreciate it, and also the people who've came out to see me on um, Friday night. And how are you going to win this fight? I'm um, going to win this fight by just listening to Paul and Mick and doing what my coaches tell me. It's a team, team effort and there's three of us in there together, me, Paul and Mick, and just stick to the tactics what they give me. You're never in a bad fight. Is it yeah. going to be the case on Friday night against Jazza Dickens? Yeah, I, I hope so. I mean, it's, it's just the way I fight, so yeah, I've always been in good ones, so we'll, we'll wait and see. You've always gone so close before in yeah. major fights, particularly the Gavin McDonald yeah. draw. Why is it going to be different this time? Yeah, I don't know. You, you've just got to keep going. I mean, I used to get me sent down, and you know, like you say, I've had fights where I've won. Well, a lot of people thought I've won, and they've either been given away or draws or. Stuff like that. So you know, I've competed at a really good level, box world, European, British champion. Um, and I've beat some good kids as well. So I think you know, this is my time. I'm 26 now, so I've matured a lot, I've developed a lot, and I've uh, had balls to my game. So yeah, I feel it, feeling really confident. When you had that draw against Gavin McDonald last May, did you just think, do you ever think I might as well just walk away from this game? Nothing's ever going to fall from me. Uh, to be honest, when I was ringing the good scores out, then what the 140, 140 in the end, I thought. You know what I mean? What are we gonna do here? You know, it's it's getting it's getting it's getting harder, you know, and harder. But you know, I, I had a bad week, then I sat down and talked to my dad and my family, and I said, "Look, you gotta dust it off and, and go again. It's what you are. You're a boxer, so that's what I had to do." Yourself and Jazzy, you've both been stopped mm. by Kid Galahad. Yeah. How do you break down Jazzy Dickens for me? Yeah, well, I, I got stopped on my feet, so mm. it was different. It was it was swelling, um, so we obviously Dickens got got stopped, he got put down and every like so. Um yeah, I mean that's 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 fight if you look at it is uh he stepped up before we go and, and got stopped. So obviously as an opponent you look at that obviously you, you get confidence from it. And what do you make of Jazz as a boxer? I think he's a good boxer. I mean obviously we're at this level. They they all are but um I mean, we had a bit of a rule in it way at press conference, that's the way it is, you know what I mean? I will I will not be intimidated by anybody. I don't care where I am or what I'm doing. I, it's the type of kid I am. I, I'm like that in the ring. I'm the nicest kid in the world. I'll do any hope for anybody, but you know, it's supposed to be a re, reborn race of born again Christian. I've not seen many vicars act like that, so um, <laughs> it will happen. You know, but I won't be intimidated, and that's, I hope he fetches that on Friday night. He's got a big following Friday night. What mm. sort of reception are you expecting? Yeah, good. Eh? Yeah, it'll be, you know, it's the type of place you want to win a British title, isn't it? You know. Um, Bethnal Green, Echo, they're all, they're all what, what we we know as boxing, boxing, you know, great arenas. So I'm really looking forward to it. I'm bringing some other from Barnsley, so they'll have a good night. So yeah, we're all we're all happy. And how confident are you that Friday night's the night your luck finally changes yeah. in big fights? Yeah, I really am. I don't know what it is. I've just got a feeling this time. You know, I mean, what might have changed? You know, yeah, if uh, and I just, I've trained so hard for it, and I just, I just want this British title. I've never been one to say, oh, I want, I want to be a world champion or this and that. I've never dreamed, you know, I've competed at every level, amateur and pro, boxed for England, won national titles as an amateur, but I just want a British title. I want British title as an amateur, so I want, want British title as a pro, and I think I deserve it.